guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something I don't normally do, an intro video, right? Yes, because um, this video is a tutorial using the Makeup Forever New Artist Shadows. Uh, Y'all know I film in advance, so I'm considering putting this a little bit ahead of the other videos that I have scheduled because they are new and they're just coming out. Uh, so I might do that. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't normally preempt my schedule, but these shadows are so wonderful. Uh, it's the new line, uh, 200, I think 200 plus shadows. They're going to replace the old shadows. So if you have some old shadows, make sure you keep them because they will no longer be available. Um, but the new shadows, the artist shadows are very nice. Uh, I ordered some. They had a pro um, special where you can order it and get 40% off and then an additional 10% off if you got 10 or more. Um, making sure I don't have excess lipstick on. But anyway, so that's what I did. And so I had an uh, opportunity to do, I think I ordered like 12 of them, I'm not sure. On my Instagram, I actually posted a picture of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows as well as swatches on my arm. I'm gonna cut off. But anyway, I'm gonna insert the picture of um, the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows that I got plus the swatches on my wrist so you guys be able to see. Insert it right here. And yeah, so I really hope you enjoy this. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then please stay tuned. And make sure you guys go check out the shadows. It's a very minimum. Go check them out. Um, Sephora, or if you are near a uh, Makeup Forever Pro Store, go check them out. You will not be disappointed. See you guys later. Okay, guys, let's get started. I've already um, defined the under eye, underside of my brow bone with Max NC35 Studio Finish. I have Makeup Forever's Clown White on my lid. I'm going to go in with M646 from the Artist Shadow as my transition color. And I think it's going to be okay. 646. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to sweep that through my crease. Using windshield wiper motions, concentrating the majority of the color on the outside of the eye. And yes, we do have tape. Next one I'm going to go in with, I think it's 156. It might be 56. I'm sorry. This is one of the um, Makeup Forever's older shadows, not the artist shadow. And it has three color, three numbers on the back, 156. And I'm going to, I'm going to say, I think it's 156, but I'm not sure. So um, I'm going to go in and put this as my brow bone highlight. I've had this for forever, but I think it's 156. These um, original shadows are no longer going to be available. Um, they're only going, you're only going to be able to get the uh, artist shadows. I'm just sweeping that through my brow bone and blending it down into the crease color. Transition. Now I'm just going to blend a little bit of the um, transition color just to make sure that uh, there's no harsh line here between the brow bone highlight and the transition color, which was, can I remember? I can't, I can't remember. It was M646. I'm just blending. Okay, for my lid color, I'm gonna go in with uh, I-412. Really, really pretty, um, intense, goldish, tannish color. And I'm going to really pack that color on my lid. Just pack it on really, really good. Make sure you get the inner corner of the eye as well. Okay, I'm going to blend out the crease, the lower part of the crease, with the um, lid color we just put down with M726. And this is like a rusty tan color. I really like it. It's like a lighter version of Max Brown script, or maybe a richer version of Soft Brown. And I'm going to be just blending this, just the top edge part of it, into the crease with a 217 blending brush. And I'm gonna just deposit a little bit more of the color on the outside because we're about to really build up the outside and really um, intensify the outer portion of the eye. Okay, I'm going to go in with this really sm smoky uh, dark shadow. This is another original Makeup Forever shadow. Um, I wanna say it's 166, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush, but just use whatever uh, smoky, dark, grayish color that you have. And I'm really gonna pack this color. This is going to be our closest color to the tape and just really pack it on. I'm not going to go too high up into the crease, but I really wanna just pack that color right here. 
just pack it on. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Makeup Forever's number 29. This one I know for sure is number 29. And I'm just gonna use a little blending brush and I'm gonna begin to overlay the darkest color we get we put down and start to blend the V area with this color. Next uh, original Makeup Forever shadow I'm gonna go in with is number 28. Yes, this is number 28. I'm gonna use that same little blending brush and I'm just going to sweep this through the outer V as well. And just blending all of those three colors together, but not going too far up into the crease. Okay, you're gonna go back in with that darkest color you used, and for me, I think it's 166. I'm gonna take that same pencil brush and I'm just going to just flick this from the tape into the V, just flicking it. And just making sure that line that we're creating is very defined here. And just flicking. Okay, next, in order to blend everything out, I know this is a lot, but I just wanna really keep the uh, layers and the transitions going. So I'm using a lot of different colors in the outer V to really build it up. Uh, just a simple technique to use. I'm gonna be going back in with that 726, the M726 from the Artist Shadows. And I'm gonna take that same blending brush that I originally laid it down with, 217, and I'm going to begin to blend the outer V, the top parts of it, and just sweep that into the lid where the V opens just a little bit just to make sure all of that is blended. And just be very light with this actually, very light. Because you don't want to disturb all the work you just did right there, okay? So just very light. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my lid color, I412, and I'm just going to take that same flat shader brush and I'm just going to just make sure I pack that back on the lid. Not a lot, just to make sure I didn't lose any of the intensity. But you want to keep kind of the uniqueness that occurred through the blending. So just lightly pat on the lid. Okay, now, you can either create a wing using the tape as a guide, right? And you won't mess it up. It's, you, you could mess it up, but I doubt that you'll mess it up if you use the tape as a guide. And you can create a wing. I'm not going to do that. You know I'm not a fan of a wing. I love it on other people, but I just feel like with as much work as you do uh, doing an eye, you know, that the wing can sometimes take it away. In this case, I think for me, a wing would be fine, but because I've intensified the edge here, I'm just gonna use that. I'm not gonna place a wing, but um, some people love wings. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. And here's what that line looks like. So we kind of got very defined line right there using the tape. Or if you don't wanna use the tape, you can always take a makeup wipe and go under and clean it up that way and create a very defined demarcation point there as well. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what my face, what my eyes look like with lashes on it and I'm gonna do the rest of my face. Okay, so there's the eye completed. If you notice on the wing, I did, to help blend it in a little bit, I did put a little bit of liner on the top, not winged it out, just put a little liner on it. You can also do that with the darkest shadow that you use in your V. You can also use that and kind of blend it into the upper lash line if you want to and that would also create a little bit of smoke and allow for blending with the lip, with the um, eyelashes as well. Or you can just go naked, fucking naked, you know, lid like I normally do um, and be fine. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to come back and I'm gonna show you what I do with the rest of my face. Okie dokie, so let's finish up the rest of the face. I'm gonna go in on the underline. I'm wearing blue today, okay, so I get to use my favorite eyeshadow ever. I'm a blue kind of eye, eye girl. Although I don't do it a lot, but I, I do it enough to where y'all should know right now. I'm gonna take Max High Def Scion pencil and I'm going to run that through my waterline as well as my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking Makeup Forever's Artist Shadow S214. This is S214. Prettiest blue I have ever seen. I'm gonna be taking a little smudge brush and I'm going to work that into the high def scion that we laid down. And I'm also going to use it to set the high def scion pencil that I put in my waterline as well. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with I4112. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a pencil brush and I'm gonna work that into my tear duct. And making sure that it's just nice and open and bright. So that is really it for the eye. Very pretty, smoked out, 
neutral lid, dark crease, blue under eye, and a nice open tear duct. I'll be right back, show you the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm going to be using a little bit of Max Format, Format as my blush. And I've already contoured and all that stuff, y'all know that. And then to highlight, I'm going to be using a little bit of NARS's Albatross. And if you notice, you guys, I did not go ham on the blush. Well, not really. <laughs> yes, Lord. And just use this to highlight the areas of your face you want to highlight it. Hey y'all, let's get down with this lip. And then we are done, we are home free. Anybody try that Fit Me tea? I'm on the 28 day one, but anyway. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna be filling in my lips with a Max Pro Longwear Pencil in Shock Value. Yes, we're gonna go with a pink lip today. We're gonna be going in with Max Snob. Line my lips with sore. Yes, sore. I'm gonna go in. I think this is NARS is born this way. I can't tell. I can't read the um, writing. It's too small, and neither one of my kids are up here to help me. So, yes. And I'm going to put that all over my lip. Okay, so this is the finished look. I really, really like this. I am totally in love with the Makeup Forever New Artist Shadows. They are absolutely amazing. Now, they are um, high on the price point in terms of eyeshadows. I believe they retail for $21, I believe. But let me just give you an example. So this is um, M646, I think, compared to Brown Script, which is MAC. And so you see the size. This is almost like two and a half times of this, right? So these retail, I think, for 15 or 14 or something like that, and these retail for 21. So it depends. Um, it's a great shadow, great shadow. I absolutely love them. And I hope you guys love the look that I created using them. Um, this is the second of two looks that I created using the artist shadows for you to give you guys something to look at. One very bold, one kind of bold. I don't know, y'all know me. So anyway, yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I appreciate each and one of you for coming out week after week and spending a little time with me. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.